So have you ever been playing and the FPS counter says you're fine, but the game just feels a bit choppy? That's stuttering, and today I'll explain how to make that smoother. Also, I'm showing off my brand new overlay, and this is going to be really useful to see what's actually happening under the hood. So here's Gears of War Reloaded running uncapped, the FPS is bouncing dynamically, and with the use of the VRR, most people will probably say this game is very replayable and just get on with it but there are some people that are more sensitive to the stutter and this is, and these inconsistencies really stand out now i'll switch to the in-game limiter to 30 fps the average fps is locked and the one percent lows improve but notice the frame time graph is still spiky so you still get micro stutters before we deep dive into gameplay let's quickly break down the two main reasons games stutter so the first is frame drops, this is when your system can't keep up and the FPS dips suddenly. And the second reason is the frame time skips. This is when frames aren't delivered evenly, so even at stable FPS the game still feels jittery. Using Reva and capping the game at 40 FPS, the FPS becomes stable, 1% lows are tight and the frame time is almost perfectly flat. Both problems, frame time drops and bad pacing are reduced. We've got two options. We can go back the way I came through the guards quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Let's take the guards' quarters. Now switching to Metaphor. This engine handles pacing really well and using the in-game capping at 60 FPS, the frame time is already smooth with no big spikes. Switching to Reva at the same 60 FPS, 60 FPS cap doesn't really change much because the game already delivers even flames. My overlay makes it clear, sometimes in-game limiters are good enough and not every title needs Reaver to fix stutters. Let's jump to Witcher 3 at 1200p, low preset uncapped. The FPS hovers around 60, but you'll see small drops and the occasional frame time wobble. It looks great, but you can feel little bumps when the pacing shifts. Now here's Witcher 3 capped at 60 FPS using Reva. Watch the frame time graph. It locks perfectly to 16.6 milliseconds per frame. This is what consistent pacing looks like. The FPS is basically the same, but it feels much smoother because every frame is delivered rock solid.
idea. Here's a side by side of Witcher 3 uncapped versus recapping. Can you tell the difference? Would you try this method to smooth out your own games? Drop a comment and let me know if it helped, especially if you tested it on other demanding titles. I'll be using this new overlay in every video going forward, so you'll see the FPS, 1% lows and the frame time side by side. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.